Chicago surge of violence is causing safety concerns at the city's well-known neighborhood festivals. Just last month, two people died after they were shot hours after the Puerto Rican parade. CBS 2's Jackie Kostick is live near Humboldt Park now, and Jackie police have stepped up their patrols of the Great Columbian Fest. Jim, that fest will wrap up in about an hour from now and will continue into tomorrow. But if you take a loop around Humboldt Park right now, you will see CPD officers patrolling just about every stretch of this area. And I spoke to the festival director earlier today, and he said that after what happened to the Puerto Rican parade last month, CPD has stepped up their patrols significantly. <laughs> The past year has been tough for Jorge Ortega. So we got hit sort of twice. You know, we were feeling, the, you know, the, all the deaths and souls that we lost through COVID. And then to turn around and have such a violent spring and summer in Chicago. The COVID-19 pandemic and epidemic of violence in Chicago were very much on the mind of Ortega as he made plans to bring the Great Columbian Fest back for the first time in two years. We took a risk and a gamble. You know, it was, we needed this event sort of to give people a little bit of normality but also to unite our people. While holding the fest may be a risk, Ortega made sure it was a calculated one. When it comes to the issue of violence, Ortega estimates his security team inside of the gates is 60% larger than it was two years ago. And CPD's presence outside of the gates, well, he estimates 90% more, saying there are more officers than ever before in festival history. It's just hard. You know, I, I've been to a couple of visuals. As for COVID-19 safety, the festival does have protocols in place, encouraging but not requiring either proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. For Vicki Mavreas and Molly Kovats, attending a festival again is exciting, but feels kind of strange. I am comfortable being outside and with like my close friends who I'm comfortable with, but being in like a closer group setting. I'm not really like into still, but this is nice since it's really spread out. You can see mostly everyone's unmasked. I feel pretty okay if we're like this open air and like trying to not be close to people. It's Hiram Padilla lives in Humboldt Park and says that he hasn't been vaccinated for personal reasons, but looking around, he says he feels everyone is being more careful about things this year. You know what? People are alive and people are doing what they're supposed to do, but we're being more careful this time about things. Ortega says he went back and forth about whether he should hold the festival. For Ortega, both the festival and the pandemic are personal, losing his own father to COVID-19 last year. It's, it's tough, you know, but my dad and my mom, uh, my mom's with us today. And, you know, it's like, uh, like in show business, you know, show must go on. Ortega says the festival will hold a remembrance ceremony tomorrow for his father, who he says was a pillar of this festival and others who have died from COVID-19. In Humboldt Park tonight, Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News.